we will be doing some uh, calculations regarding the battery pack so here from uh, from this uh, content we will be able to uh, compute the calculation regarding the number of cells uh, which we require for a battery pack calculation uh, number of cells which we require for a battery pack how to connect uh, the cells either in a series or in a parallel or how to enhance its energy content of a cell so we will be seeing all this in this uh, module so now generally if i talk about some if i talk about uh, the uh, important terms inside uh, which we talk about in perspective of electric vehicle uh, there is a term known as energy consumption so what is this energy consumption is so first of all talking about the uh, conventional or ordinary uh, petrol vehicles so we what we generally say is if you if you when you go and buy a new vehicle you ask for what is this uh, what is the average of this vehicle so uh, considering any uh, bike so in 1 liter of petrol uh, in a 1 liter of petrol the average you are getting is 40 kilometers just say any number so in 1 liter of petrol your your vehicle is going to cover a distance of 40 kilometers so this is the efficiency of your vehicle uh, it can be uh, your energy in terms of uh, energy efficiency if i talk about so then this is the efficiency of your vehicle in a 1 liter of petrol you are uh, 1 liter of fuel you are able to uh, uh, cover a distance of 40 kilometers but in terms of electric vehicle we are talking about the we are we are talking about the energy consumption why because we are using battery pack there same energy consumption is here also it is same but in terms of fuel if we are talking about the fuel but here our fuel is what our fuel is charge in battery pack charge so what is uh, your battery if i talk about uh, inside uh, in a conventional vehicle uh, fuel tank there is a fuel tank there is a fuel tank there is a fuel tank in conventional vehicle but in terms in electric vehicle we have battery pack fuel tank is storing the fuel so uh, if you increase the size of fuel tank you you can increase the range of your vehicle and similarly in in term in electric vehicles if you increase the size of your battery pack what then what you are going to get you are going to get range you can increase the range of your vehicle so battery pack is similar to the fuel tank if i talk about the analogy then here you are storing the fuel uh, which is going to uh, which is going to contribute you kilometers the range and if you are going to increase the charge you are storing charge inside the battery pack and if you are increasing the charge then you are going to get a range again which is in kilometers so considering the electric vehicle then in electric vehicle if i say if i use the similar analogy here how we uh, define the average of electric vehicle so generally the energy consumption of electric vehicle is defined as for example in watt hour per kilometer so how much amount of energy your uh, vehicle is going to consume in covering a distance of 1 kilometer it is what watt hour per kilometers so how much so now i have taken an example so here this example is uh, saying that any vehicle xyz is going to cover a distance of uh, 1 kilometer while consuming an energy of 161.74 so the vehicle which i have designed is going to cover is going to consume an energy of 161.74 watt hour so here we are going to consume energy of 161.74 watt hour per kilometers so while covering a distance now if you have this data then you can estimate that uh, uh, at for what range of kilometers i should design my battery pack or my uh, what should be uh, the uh, what should be the range of the kilometer my battery pack should give so this is uh, what should be the range so nowadays the vehicles are coming uh, evs are coming with the range of uh, 250 kilometers or even 300 kilometers so what they are generally doing uh, in order to increase the range you have to oversize your battery pack you have to increase the size of your battery pack if you want to increase the range of your vehicle so in electric vehicle the most heaviest part is your uh, if i talk about the parts inside the vehicle so most heaviest is the battery pack so it is an important point to be considered here is if you in order to increase the range of your vehicle what you are increasing you are increasing the size of your battery pack if the energy of your cell which you are using is considered to be constant in both the cases for example the cell which you are considering is uh, able to supply the energy of uh, uh, energy content of uh, 120 watt hour per kg and uh, if this is constant in both the cases then if you further want to increase the range of your battery pack uh, range of your vehicle uh, the kilometer range then you have to increase the size of your battery pack and i have already told that the battery packs are the heaviest among Uh, is the heaviest part inside the electric vehicle so if you further increase the size of your battery pack then the weight of the battery pack is going to increase and what will happen it will it is going to reduce your power to weight ratio 
so the power to weight ratio of your vehicle is going to decrease so this is also the important point to be kept in mind that uh, there should be a uh, 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 there should be a limit of the battery pack size so we cannot just go with the we just cannot simply increase the size of battery pack in order to get the more reach we have to look for the power to weight ratio also because if you if the power to weight ratio is going uh, going down then it is not uh, it is not a good practice to increase the size of battery pack so therefore the improved chemistries which are, are offering which are offering more energy content like we have, uh, we have discussed in the one of the chemistries which was offering uh, energy content of 240 watt hour per kg which was high uh, this which was the cell which was offering the energy density of this much so generally the we are working on increasing the manufacturers are working on increasing the capacity of cell rather than going for large battery pack size because if the size of battery pack is increasing power to weight ratio is decreasing and in order to compensate for this what you have to do you have to use the propulsion or the motors of higher ratings so generally this is uh, not a good practice uh, or there is a limit beyond which we generally do not go we have to keep in mind about the power to weight ratio of the vehicle so now if i talk about the some concepts of electrical because here uh, we are connecting the battery pack Uh, we are we are we have to connect the cells. So generally, a cell is what a cell is noted with a voltage source. So what is a cell? Cell is a source of uh, power and the voltage which at which it is going to deliver power is two volt. So cell is simply represented by a voltage source which is having a two volt voltage. Now uh, there are some basic concepts. In order to increase the voltage rating, for example, uh, the cell is of two volt, but the battery pack which we are going to design. Uh, inside the electric vehicle or the uh, or the battery packs which the evs require generally have the voltage ratings of 300 volts 300 to 400 volts because the motors and the because we have to supply to power to the motors we have to supply to the other auxiliaries and other electronic systems so uh, the voltage rating generally the motors which we are using inside the evs are ranging uh, the voltage rating is between 200 to 300 volts so it is mandatory to it is compulsory Uh, for designing a battery pack of voltage rating uh, at least uh, 300 to 400 volts so it depends upon the rating of motor which we are using and for supplying the voltage to other auxiliaries inside the evs what we are doing is we are uh, just stepping down the voltage from 300 to uh, 12 volt or 50 volt depending upon the requirement of uh, depending upon the requirement of auxiliaries what they require so there are various systems inside the ev which operate at 12 volts which operate at 13 15 volts so based on the requirement of individual unit we have to step down the voltage now coming to our uh, cell calculations so the size of battery pack or the uh, voltage rating which we want to achieve through our battery pack is let's say 400 volts and uh, i have said earlier uh, we have discussed a data sheet uh, data of a cell so cells are generally rated between 2 volt 2.5 volt or 3.5 volts so these are the ratings of a cell so now how we are going to get the voltage rating of 400 volt from this cell so here the concept of here the some basic concepts of electrical uh, we uh, we should we have to know that so if we connect the cells in a series so we are going to get a good voltage rate so here you can see that we have connected such cells in series so now if you want to get a voltage rating of a 12 volt you need to connect six such cells in a series each cell has a voltage of 2 volts so by simple arithmetic you can get a 12 volt voltage rating so similarly if i can get 12 volt uh, voltage rating from the this string i am considering this uh, because this is a string because there are cells arranged in a series so for 400 volt also we require almost 200 such cells almost 200 such cells for connecting for getting a voltage rating of 400 volt so this was just to give an idea what is the voltage rating uh, how to achieve this voltage rating so now we in a battery pack we have a voltage rating we have its uh, capacity and what we have we have its uh, capacity which is an ampere and we have an energy rating so combining the cells in a series will going to give us the voltage rating now if i talk about some basics then voltage is going to add up in a series it is simple but what about the current which the cells are going to deliver so the current in series is constant meaning that you cannot just simply add the current of individual cells so the current is going to be same throughout the string it is same the current is going to be same throughout the cell how to achieve the because uh, initially we have achieved the voltage rating of 400 volt by connecting 200 cells in series but what about the current rating because uh, if you see that the current rating of the cell are not uh, very much uh, for example they are of either 2.2 ampere or 1 ampere 
So how we can achieve this? We can achieve the current rating of the cell or the MPR rating by simply uh, connecting the strings by increasing the number of strings. So you can see that the parallel combination of the cell increases the current rating. So you can see that this current rating is increased. So power. If I talk about the power, power is a, uh, what is power? Power is a product of voltage and current. So increasing the current voltage is constant after because in parallel the voltage is same. So whatever the voltage this string is going to offer you, it is same. How uh, how you connect the voltmeter? You connect the voltmeter uh, one terminal with the positive and one terminal with the negative. So you are going to get the voltage of. So how you are going to get? If you increase the uh, current, then power rating is going to increase. And uh, talking about the energy, the energy is a product of power into time. So energy is what power into time. So if you integrate the power over a time period, then you are going to get the energy content of a battery pack, which is expressed in watt hours or kilowatt hours. So now, these are the some basic concepts because as I have said that uh, the current in a series is going to constant. So now here, here what you are what the current you are getting? You are getting the current which is three times. This is a three times current. So the you can see that here is written as three times the more capacity you are going to get. So in a series you are getting voltage rating, uh, and uh, if you increase the number of strings, such strings, then you are going to get current rating.